The first thing that you need to know is that the weather is very unpredictable. So the valley temperature will be 30 degrees Celsius and warm, but at the peak it would be around 15 or 20 degrees Celsius. The website you are seeing on the screen right now, that's the website I refer to. I saw the uh, weather at uh, Hovella yesterday. The website said it is. it would be very clear and it was very clear. Okay. So that's the first thing, weather changes. At the peak, it will be drastically different from what it is in the valley. The second thing is, uh, chance of rain is very high. So you should always have a rain coat with you to protect yourself from the rain. And you should have a waterproof bag or some kind of polythene bags or anything to protect your equipment from the rain. In summer, when you're trekking car path in, the chance of rain is very high. So can you hear me? The next essential item that you need to have is a sleeping bag because temperatures drop drastically at night so always have sleeping bags with you that is essential if you don't you'll still survive i have survived i didn't have a sleeping bag but trust me it will make your night a lot easier next thing is buying a good tent when you're out in the open in the wilderness it can be pretty fierce you need to have a good tent that can protect you from the wind and from the rain so invest in a good tent as well and the fifth thing is the, the last thing that i would be saying in this mountain it's so beautiful the sunrise you need to uh, prepare yourself like that you might be not able to make fire you know when we are thinking of camping or trekking we always think okay we'll make a campfire it will be fun it will uh, prevent us from getting cold in the night but that's not the case every time if it's too windy you can't make a fire if everything is wet if it's raining you can't make a fire and if you don't have the resources obviously you can't make a fire always be prepared in a way that even if you don't have a fire you will survive the night this was briskul mount briskul it's so calm i'm in the mountain alone <sighs> okay we have finally reached uh, Nora Poshashevska. A little hard to pronounce, but this is the second mountain. Uh, that is where we came from. Anyway, continuing with our tips. The sixth tip I have for you is overpacking is always better than uh, packing less. But if you packed a few extra sweaters, it doesn't hurt, right? Packing more things doesn't hurt. Packing things that you don't use on a trip is bad. But not packing things that are essential to you in a journey is worse. I don't know what this is, but anyway, let's continue. Uh, the next step I have to give to you is talk with the locals or the uh, people who are passing by. When you talk to the people, you gain extra information. You Usually we have this ego, like we know what to do. We don't need to ask anybody, right? Everyone you meet knows something that you don't know. So keep that in mind. It is about uh, memory association, like I say to my friends. When you're going to a place, don't just go to a place, see the place and come back. Uh, go to the place, see the place and talk to the people too. While we were uh, hiking to Hovella, uh, we saw a lot of people. I could not record it all. We were climbing up, they were climbing down and they had this smile. Oh, you're going for it. Great. The smile itself is enough to drive you forward, right? Like, this is it. But if you're not a people person, don't bother. But still ask people for advice. They might know something that you don't. Uh, this tip is a short one. Uh, I use this app, uh, the name is here on the screen, and I use this app to navigate the Karpathian Mountains. Not only tells you where the mountains are, it tells you how you can take them, like the trail that you should take. It shows you everything. It's really useful. Check it out if you're going to the Karpathian Mountains, like I am. It, it's been super helpful. The next one is pretty serious. Solo travelers out there, it's fun doing solo travels. But it is dangerous, especially when you're coming to mountains like this. If you're in a city, you can cry for help, you know. You can get an ambulance fast. But here right now, I hope it does not happen. But if I broke my leg and if I'm alone, I'm fucked. That's it. Nobody's coming here. Nobody at all. Just because everything worked out and nothing bad has happened to you, it does not mean it will not happen to you here. So be safe. That's the main point here. Be safe. Avoid injuries. A small injury could deal a very big damage so many but i hope you can hear me the 10th one is it sound it may it may sound pretty cheesy but i want to say this anyway that is to respect mother nature no tent is strong enough no fire is big enough 
if uh, nature mother nature wants you to suffer a night she will make you you can do nothing about it a storm and you're done a rain and you're done so some days you get weather like this and be grateful be happy uh, and i say mother nature thank you thank you for giving me this beautiful day right be grateful and if you're religious you can thank god thank you god for this beautiful world and this beautiful day so do come to the carpathian mountains or any mountain range in fact and see how beautiful our planet is it, it is it is really beautiful as you know but you have to experience this in person so get out and uh, travel okay time to go bye bye carpathians i'll miss you